everyone, this is Mrs. Thompson here. Today we're going to take a look back in time and make an artwork inspired by the Lascaux cave paintings found in France. So the cavemen used things like clay, berries, rocks, and charcoal to add color to their drawings. We're going to be using some black oil pastels and different colors of chalk pastels. The cavemen had texture in their drawings by painting on the cave walls. So we're going to simulate texture by crumbling our paper up into a ball and then smoothing it back out. At your seat, you have a couple different examples of different animals that have been found in cave art. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw this bull. Now, you can work with me or you can draw one of the other animals by yourself. So everybody grab your oil pastel and let's get started. When I'm doing a drawing, I always like to start with the head. So I'm going to go ahead and with my oil pastel, draw the very top of the head. And my first line is just a curve. Then I'm going to start moving down to where the nose and the mouth are going to be. Make a straight line down. And then curve back up to make the chin. Now I'm going to jump up to the top of the head and make two horns. And it's okay if yours looks a little bit different than mine. That is absolutely fine. You may notice I'm using my pastel with really short strokes. And this is just to make sure I'm putting everything exactly where I want it to be on the paper. Now if your art starts going off the paper a little bit, that is absolutely fine. Just keep going. I think that will be fantastic. I'm going to move to the top of the body now, which is moving into the top of the neck and the back. And again, I'm still using really short strokes with my oil pastel. I'll give you guys a second to catch up. Now we're going to be moving to the front of the bowl again, making the neck and the chest. So starting back up under the chin. I'm going to make a straight line down, and this line is actually going to move right into one of my front legs. One interesting thing about these ancient drawings is they do not have a lot of detail in the legs or in the feet. So all we're going to do is bring our line down and end it with a straight line. So we don't need a detailed foot. All right, now that we've finished the first front leg, we're gonna move on to the second front leg, and this one is gonna be in the background. Now, this is a leg that is furthest away from us, so it's gonna go behind the other leg, and I really think this leg looks kind of like a drumstick or a chicken leg. Now you should really see your artwork starting to come together. We're gonna to move back up to the top, and continue drawing the back, and we're gonna go right into the back leg, just like we did with the front leg. So the back leg curves a little bit to the back, and then it goes straight down. Then I add that little flat foot, and bring a line right back up. And this is gonna be the back leg that's closest to us. Next, we're gonna start the back leg that is furthest away from us. So this leg is gonna come out from behind the first leg. It just comes straight out. And now we are almost done with the drawing portion. So the next thing we need to do is just to connect the front leg to the hind legs. And this is gonna be the bull's stomach. And I'm going to use my oil pastel to add an eye wherever I think the eye should be, and maybe some little markings along the face. Great job, everyone. We have finished drawing our bowl. So what we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to color it with chalk pastels. 